Welcome. Cigarettes in Greg's jacket. Greg, were you smoking cigarettes? No, Dad. Well, he's lying. There's no doubt about that. Greg, I'm afraid your punishment will be four hours in the snake pit. That'll give you some time to think about what you've done. Oh, man. That'll teach him. And, Jan, I'm afraid you've earned a day in the Chamber of Fire for tattling on your brother. Ah, smoking. How does a boy like that go so wrong? Well, I live in a crummy neighborhood. The Brady's? Oh, hell yeah. They got robbers, thugs, drug dealers, ah, you name it. You folks want some pancakes? No, thank you. See, that's the worst we got is uh, Jemima's witnesses. Excellent. The mind control device is nearing completion. Stewie, I said no toys at the table. Damn you, vile woman! You've impeded my work since the day I escaped from your wretched womb. I remember when Stewie was born. He was the only baby I've ever seen who came out smiling. But of course, that was my victory day. The fruition of my deeply laid plans to escape from that cursed ovarian Bastille. Return the device, woman. No toys, Stewie. Very well, then. Mark my words. When you least expect it, your uppance will come. Kids, I just don't know if I like the idea of your father going to a stag party tonight. Relax, Mom. It's just a bunch of guys sitting around with a black marker and a checklist of the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Thou shalt get drunk. <laughs> yeah! Chris, you're 13. Don't talk like that. No, Mom, it's kind of cold in here. No, no, don't touch the thermostat, Meg. Your father gets upset. Oh, come on. This thing goes up to 90. Put down your thermostat. Man, how does he always know? Brain implant, Meg. Every father's got one. Tells you when the children are messing with the dial. Hey, Peter, my thing went off. Your thermostat okay? Yeah, it's all right. Hey, is my kid over here? Forget it. False alarm. Whoa, ass ahoy. Say, uh, when are you leaving for the party, Peter? Eh, in about 15 minutes. Peter, promise me you won't drink. Lois, honey, alcohol doesn't affect me. <laughs> Remember when Dad got drunk off the communion wine at church? And so the Lord God smoked poor Job with festering boils all over his body. God, I hate it when he tells this story. Yet, miraculously, Job was still able to keep his dignity. And remember you had an Irish coffee the day we went to see Philadelphia? I got it. That's the guy from Big. Tom Hanks, that's it. Oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Anything he says is a stick. I have AIDS. <laughs> and then there was that time at the ice cream store. Oh, rum raisin's my favorite. Promise me, Peter. Lois, I promise. Not a drop of alcohol is going to touch these lips tonight. Hey, who wants to play Drink the Beer? Right here. You win. All right, what do I win? Another beer. Oh, I'm going for the high score. Well, actually, Charlie's got the high score. Hey, man, your clock won't flush. <laughs> you know, I feel kind of bad, you guys. I promised my wife I wouldn't drink. Oh, don't feel bad, Peter. Oh, gee, I never thought of it like that. Hey, did you bring the porno? Did I bring the porno? <laughs> what do you think I am, some kind of porno nut bringer? But don't you have pizzas to deliver? No, let's get busy instead. Oh, he is gonna get fired. The statue was originally a gift from France. What is this? Oh, man, Chris must have taped over this for his history class. The Statue of Liberty? Oh, what are we gonna do? Boys, boys, we're gonna drink till she's hot. Hey, that's just crazy enough to work. Bacon's great, Mom. Where's the orange juice? Over there by the crutch. <laughs> That's cool that Dad slept in the kitchen. Now, kids, this is not a good example. Daddy only drank so the Statue of Liberty would take her clothes off. Peter, I honestly don't believe you. You spent the night on the kitchen table, and you're still drunk. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Are you mad? No, I'm just very dis... <laughs> Mom, are you all right? My goodness, this chair leg was loose. Isn't that silly? I could have broken my neck. Damn. Look, honey, I'm late for work. Can we talk about this when I get back? All right, Peter, but we haven't finished this conversation. Okay, bye. How are you coming, Johnson? Well, Mr. Weed, I've been working on the new G.I. Jew line, and as you can see, they look great. You call these bagels? Whoa! I'm glad he's on our side. 
Peter, are you sleeping on the job? What the? Oh, oh, hi, Mr. Weed. Peter, it's your job to watch for any toy products that might be harmful to children. Now look sharp. Uh, yes, sir. And now, back to Channel 6 News. Our top story tonight, when toys attack. Quite a situation we've got here, Mike. Quite a situation we've got here, Mike. Indeed, Diane. It seems the happy-go-lucky toy company has released several highly unsafe toy products into the retail market. Come on, Timmy. Throw the silly ball. Oh, boy, a pound poochie. Come on, baby Heimlich. Spit it out. Peter, I'm appalled. Your negligence has damaged this company's reputation. You're fired. Ah, jeez, for how long? I don't believe it, Peter. You got fired? Way to go, Dad. Fight the machine. How do you know about the machine? Peter, you know this is all because you drank at the stag party. I know. Lois, honey, you were right. Alcohol is trouble. You know, I feel kind of guilty I ever gave Chris his first taste of beer. Yeah, but you turned out okay, didn't you, pal? I'm gonna go get wasted. Okay, look both ways. Peter, what are you going to do about a job? You'll have to find something soon. Now, why don't you... <laughs> What on earth was that? What the deuce are you staring at? It's tuna fish. And nothing else. Ah, this sucks, Chris. I gotta find a way to get money. I've been through two jobs this week. I got fired off of that commercial. Try it again. I'm caca for Cuckoo Pops. No, damn it, take 26. Then I had that job as the sneeze guard for the salad bar at that restaurant. Ah, ah, ah. Take it outside, lady. And then I thought I could win some money in that talent show. And the grand prize goes to the Von Trapp family singers. Oh, that is bullshit. They're gone! Oh, yes. 